This is a lesson on first-hand data and second-hand data. So I know that you're all wondering what these things are. So they're plain and simple. First-hand data is data that you collected on your own, you personally. Second-hand data is data that has been collected by somebody else. So um, if I collected data, then that data would be first-hand data to me, but second-hand data to anybody else. Then that's, that's basically all there is to it. So let's look at an example, though. So it says, Mr. or Mrs., that says Mrs. Rosada's class studied weather. The students measured the rainfall for five days. For Mrs. Rosada's class, these results are first-hand data. For you, these results are second-hand data. Now, because the class did this um, activity together, and they all went out and checked it together, I'm assuming, then for all of them, it would be first-hand data. But if just one student in the class was doing all of the work, then it would only be first-hand data to that student. Okay, so during the five days that measurements were taken, we know that, number one, more rain fell on Thursday than on any other day. And let's look at the, at the chart then. So Thursday says 12 millimeters. And yeah, I can see that the next closest would be 9 millimeters here. Um, and then we've got two days with zero millimeters, and that's the other thing that this says, is there were two days when no, no rain fell. You could find out other things as well. You could find out the total amount of rainfall in the week. So you would just add um, 12 and 9 and 5 to find that answer. So you would get um, 26, it looks like, 26 millimeters. So these aren't the only two things that you know from the chart, but these are two of the things that you could learn from the chart. All right, and here's the second part of that same example. So the students also looked at secondhand data from a government website. From these data, the students know that, and look, let's look at the data. So it says there's, we've got city and then annual rain, annual average rainfall. So this is what, how much it usually rains in a year in each city. So Winnipeg is 504 millimeters, Regina is 364 millimeters, Edmonton is 461 millimeters, Calgary is 399 millimeters, and Vancouver is 1,167 millimeters. So, <clears throat> what you can gather from this is that Vancouver usually has higher precipitation than any other two cities together. So, if you took the two highest in here and added it, it still wouldn't equal Vancouver's. They do rain a lot. Um, and then another thing is that Regina has the least precipitation of the five cities. So you'll see here that we are in the 300s in Regina, but everywhere else has more. Edmonton, Calgary, and Winnipeg are all higher, but not as high as Vancouver. Okay, so that's the basis of this, is uh, just differentiating between first-hand data and second-hand data. Um, now, as I said before, first-hand data needs to be collected by you personally. If data was collected by your friend, then it would be second-hand data to you. So your assignment is page 260, numbers 1 to 4, and my hope is that you get this done as well as the BLM because they're very, very simple and short. So I bet that will happen.